day 16 of my nothing to white dominus and this was a really good day guys so make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and let's get right on with it now this was all on day 15 and look at all the credits i have all of these black markets and my inventory was worth around 25,000 credits but with the first trade of day 16 i was able to buy four non-crate exotics for 50 each and one non-crate import for 10 which was around 210 credits, making me a ton of profit right here. Now, I bought these Crimson Zombas for like super duper cheap, so it was okay for me to do this trade, but this was an equal equal deal of 240 credits, a Spectre, and as well as a Polypop, and the Spectre and the Polypop are both 80 credits, so that's 160 plus 240 was 400 credits together. But right after that, I was able to sell my Titanium White Standard for three Fennecs. Each Fennec is worth around 300 credits. Now, I could sell them for 310 each and make a little bit of profit, but I already bought the Standard for super cheap, so I was cool with this. I literally have so many Fennecs in my inventory. I got like a little family of Fennecs, but then I got another Fennec and 50 credits, for my 20XX and some non-crate exotic, which I was really happy with this trade. And right here, I bought a purple Octane that's worth 300 credits. Something I do want to say is that these are PlayStation prices, just in case y'all didn't know. But I gave him a Polypop, Spectre, Biomass, and 40 credits for a purple Octane that is worth 300 credits, okay? Now, I still don't know if this was a good trade or not, but I had a orange mainframe, and he gave me a Spectre, Fireworks, Biomass, Electroshock and a Polypop, basically some of my decals that I already just gave him, and two more for my orange mainframe. It is a hard sell, but I was okay with doing this. Not gonna lie, black markets have been like super hard to sell recently, but it's okay. I got 190 credits and a Electroshock for my Fennec, making around like 40 credit profit because the Electroshock is worth 150 and 190, and that's like 340, so made profit right there. And right here, I had these Cobalt and Yo-Yos, and he gave me two non-crate exotics. So I basically paid 50 for each, and those Cobalt, I, just, I don't even know what I was going to say, Crimson, Cobalt, whatever I was going to say. But I paid 50 each for all these, and those Cobalt and Yo-Yos are worth 100. Now, this trade was super good, because he gave me those Animus GP, those Hypnotics that are already worth 500 together, and those two non-crate imports for only 300 credits, making me 200 credit profit off of that trade that's a really good trade right there and hypnotics are easy to sell now right here i gave him three fennex and a sky blue octane now at the time this was worth 550 so i did make a little bit of profit right here but then it dropped down to like 500 i don't know what's wrong with the market right now the whole market's kind of caca poo poo but i still made profit and then I sold another Fennec for 300 credits. I kind of got rid of all of my Fennec. The family is no longer a family no more. I pray for them. They're all gone. But right here, I sell it for 300 pure credits. Now this trade right here, I low-key kind of regret because I'm still stuck with these K-Loses. But I gave him Spectre and a Polypop and 40 credits for Sky Blue K-Loses. And they're Turbo Series. They're like the OG crate from like years ago. And I still can't sell them. I still have them now actually. But wish me luck with them guys. And right here, guys, I sold a non-crate exotic for 70 credits. Probably he just wanted to do a trade-up. And he probably got, like, I don't even know, like, a burnt sienna atomizer or something caca like that. But it's okay with me because I made my profit and he's happy with the trade. So Now, right here, I'm trying to get rid of all these black markets. So I gave him all these black markets and 1,000 credits for a Fennec Titanium White and a Sky Blue Octane. I'd rather have those two items than all these black markets, and it's okay to lose credit sometimes. That's how you make profit. Now, look at this. I'm selling my entire non-crate exotic, you know, like, group. Like, it's family. Like, look how beautiful this is. It's actually, like, so sexy to have all them together. But I sold it all for 60 credits, which gives me around 660 credits, right, as you guys can see on the screen. Right over here, I have this Fennec and a Stormwatch that I get for 450 credits, which is already a good profit right there. And then he gave me some saffron like pixelated shades that I still have in my inventory and I don't even know what to do with them, but yeah. And then I sold my Sky Blue Octane for a Shattered Slipstream Dissolver and a Sparkles. And I think I can actually sell the Sparkles for like 100 credits because a lot of people have been wanting them recently. And at the time of this trade, Sky Blue Octane was 500 credits. So I did this trade making some profit. With the amount of like profit I'm making per day, and I'm poor, per, per, oh my god, I'm so stupid. But anyways, you know what, aside from what I was going to say, okay, I sold this Fennec for 300 peer credits. At this point, I am making around 3,000 credits per day, which is absolutely insane, guys. I really need you guys to understand how like crazy that is. But I bought another non-crate exotic 
for 50 pure credits. With this trade, I actually just sold my Dissolver for a Hextide and a Bubbling and 80 pure credits, making me around 30 credit profit off this trade. I know 30 credit profit isn't that too crazy, but profit is profit at the end of the day. And then I just sold my Slipstream for 100 pure credits, guys. And if you guys didn't know, Slipstream is honestly one of the nicest decals in this game. If anybody hates on Slipstream, I hope you have a bad day tomorrow. I'm just saying. And just like that, I bought another freaking non-credit exotic for 50 pure credits. You guys already know what I do with these. Like, I don't want to talk about it no more. If you're new, just figure it out because I'm honestly tired of saying what I do with these. But with this trade right here, I actually sold my sky blue octane, purple octane for 900 pure credits, which is literally like 100 above its price, like which was absolutely insane because these two guys were fighting over it. And then he gave me 900, which was perfectly cool with me. Now, this is where I start making a ton of profit, guys. I actually bought a Lime Standard for 100 credits and gave 100 more credits for the two non-credit exotics that he have. And the Standard is actually worth 200, making a 100 and like 20 credit profit because of the non-credit exotics. Now, this trade was also just as crazy. I bought Titanium White Zombos for 1,400 credits. That's absolutely insane because it's worth 1,600 and I made 200 credit profit off of Zombas. Now this trade, I didn't really make too much profit. I only made like 10 credit profit, but it was because he was cool with me. He's a friend of mine and I gave him a little deal. And regardless, I still made profit off of this trade. Now right here, another insane trade. I gave this guy 1,500 credits for a gray Fennec and a titanium white Fennec making 300 credit profit. That was really crazy because just alone the Fennec, the white Fennec is 1,400. Another really good trade right here. I bought Drakers, Drakers, what am I even saying no more? Bought Dracos that are sky blue for 300 credits and these are worth 400, making a 100 credit profit. Another trade that really, really surprised me here. I bought a regular Fennec that almost all the time only sells for 300. It's very rare to get a deal like this. And I gave him 200 credits for a regular Fennec and I made a 100 credit profit. And that was a really, really like super good trade here. And then I bought a sky, not sky blue, purple Zombas for 300 and they're worth 400 to 500, making more profit. Like I cannot believe the amount of times, I have to say profit in this video, but the amount of times I actually made profit, like getting more credits than I actually need. And it's just absolutely insane. You know what guys? Guys, you guys already know what I'm doing right here, so I'm just gonna sing a little song, okay? I got you, I got you. La 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 la. I know my singing's 10 out of 10, but I then buy another purple zombie for 300 pure credits when they're actually worth 400, making me another 100 credit profit off of this trade. Now, right here, I bought another pair of Zombas, but instead of purple, I bought them lime and I bought them for 200, which is 50 credit profit off of this trade. Now right here, I did something a little similar. I bought these Dracos, not Dracos, these Zombas for 300, and I bought the two non-crate very rares for 50 each. So that means I gave them 400 credits, making me 120 credit profit because the great Zombas are worth around 400. And not even kidding, with the next trade, I bought another pair of gray Zombas for 300 pure credits, which is making me another 100 credit profit. I promise you, trading is so easy, guys. Now, this was a really, really good deal, okay? I gave him 20, well, 2,500 credits, purple Zombas, for a sparkles that are titanium white and streamlined, making me 100 credit profit, and I can guarantee sell those sparkles for 2.9K. And then, like I just said, I sold them right after to one of my homies who really wanted it, and he gave me 2.9K. And not only that, though, I think it was like a pretty good equal trade because these are score titanium white. So I think he was really happy with this. Now with this trade, I'm not sure if I regret yet because these OEMs are a little bit hard to sell, but it was an overpay and the OEMs are 600 and that is 900, which is 1,500 and the Fennec is 1,400. But you know, profit is profit and I think I will still be able to sell the OEMs for 600 pure credits. Another really good trade. I had the, you know, the Zombas that I bought for 1,400. He gave me a mainframe, Interstellar, Stipplegate and 20XX. The four easiest probably to sell like black markets in the game. And I gave him like an Animus GP that I literally got for like 30 credits. That's worth 100. Now I'm a little bit scared of these because I know these Reapers are a little bit hard to sell, but I'm thinking I'm making like 200 to 300 credit profit off of this trade. So I was cool with it. And I only bought these Dracos for super duper cheap. Another simple deal where I actually sell my mainframe for a Sky Blue Octane. I just think the Sky Blue Octane will be a lot easier to sell. And I think it just goes up and down, up and down and I'm gonna sell it when it goes back up. 
And then right here, I sold a Stipplegate for 350 pair credits. And I th honestly, guys, if you guys want to make a ton of profit, you should buy Stipplegates for cheap and then sell them for minimum price. But guys, what I do want to say is make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I just want to tell you guys a little secret. I think we are really going to finish this series very, very soon and earlier than I expected because I'm already almost at around 30,000 credits, which means I'm around like 10K, 9K left. In order i get the white dominus in order to get the white dominus but like i said make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one